guys, I wanted to do a comparison video for you today on the GGB Mini B 2.0 versus the Skip Hop brand Zoo backpack. Both are um, smaller size backpacks that are uh, really great for adults or kids. Obviously the GGB is marketed more for adults, but it is small enough that it can be used for a child. And the Skip Hop brand is marketed more towards children. Uh, but they're both very similar in size. I know many people have both of them or might have one or the other and are trying to consider if the other one is worth purchasing. So I thought I'd do a quick video of the uh, features of each and then the uh, carrying capacity. So I have the Mini B 2.0 and the Pinky Swear here packed up for my 14 month old and three and a half year old. And then I'm just gonna move everything that I have in there, which is pretty much daily diaper bag stuff uh, into the Skip Hop Zoo backpack. I know as weird as it might sound to sound, a lot of people like to uh, put their diaper needs in a child's backpack and have their kid carry it so they don't have to. Um, so this is a somewhat realistic comparison, but it'll just give you an idea of what they hold and how they hold it. So uh, pretty straightforward. They are quite similar, um, as you can see size-wise. Um, almost the same height. They both have a grab handle. Both have a front pocket. The GGB one has a magnetic closure. It's kind of thin and narrow. Uh, the Skip Hop has a zip closure. Uh, the monkey one I have here has these cute little bananas. Uh, for the zip pull, they pretty much match whatever animal you have in some way. There's like 20 different kinds you can have. Uh, the pocket opens nice. It's not gusseted, but it kind of opens like it is. And then it has a little mesh pocket here, which is a nice feature to organize things. Uh, then it has a little um, elastic pocket here for a cup, sippy cup, bottle, anything you want to use, um, even the phone, keys, anything like that. The Mini B 2.0 has um, no other exterior pockets other than the uh, flat pocket in the front. It does have a memory foam bag, which the Skip Hop does not. Uh, the backpack straps here on the Skip Hop are slightly padded, but they would, a kid wouldn't mind, but they would definitely not be comfortable for an adult, especially if there's significant weight. But there's a little padding there. They are adjustable, uh, but not removable. So the straps on the Mini B 2.0 are memory foam padded, just like the back, and they are adjustable and not removable as well. The Skip Hop only zips about halfway down. Again, it has the cute little uh, banana zipper pull. The Jujube zips basically to the very bottom. And as you'll see in a second here, it is gusseted when it opens. So both are designed so your stuff's not going to spill all over the place. So in the front pocket here of the Mini B, I have my keys and my phone. It's an iPhone 6. Obviously, you can fit a much larger phone in there. And then for the Skip Hop, I'm going to pack up the front here, just um, like a mommy pocket, essentially. So I'll put my phone and keys in there. And then that's it for the exterior of the Mini B. Zip this all the way down. You can see I have it very well stuffed. I have a hoodie here uh, for my son. It's a very plush 24-month size hoodie. Uh, and this was packed to the brim. I have two sippy cups in here since there are no bottle pockets on the outside. Uh, since there's only one bottle pocket on the skip top, I'm going to put one in there. The other I will end up putting on the inside. Just thrown in there since there's no pockets. I have some wipes. I'm going to put those in the outside pocket for easy access. I have a small set and a pinky swear. It just has mommy needs. Uh, pads, tampon, tied to go pin, hair ties, bobby pins, chapstick, Tylenol, Advil. Put that in my mommy pocket. As well. Stuff in my keys. And then, let's see, mommy wise, there's also this tiny little pocket uh, in the back of the mini bees. It is zipped. I like putting my wallet stuff in here if I'm using this um, as a diaper bag. Just keeps my wallet a little more secure, but easy to find uh, since there's no real internal structure in here. Woo! And then I also keep with it my um, coin purse, which is in the pixie dust. It just has the extra cards. My wallet doesn't fit. I'm gonna throw these also in my makeshift mommy pocket. It's pretty 
stuffed. I think that's all I'm going to put in there, but it does hold quite a bit. I mean, I have this stuffed and it's holding a lot. You can see it fully stuffed. It's probably a little over an inch thick. Go ahead and open the Skip Hop backpack. There's a little uh, place to put their name. There's no other pockets on the inside, though. All right. I have a large set. This is in the sea ammo. As activities for my kids, so a play pack for my daughter, a little book, phones, little guys for my son to play with, just some quick things to entertain them while we're out. I have a quick, this just has um, diapering type needs in it, so booty pod, disposable change pads, two size 4 diapers, 4 T, 5 T pull up, uh, extra pair of pants, some socks, hand sanitizer, and then um, some disposable trash bags and A&D ointment in this little pocket here. We'll go ahead and put all this stuff in at the same time. A small travel and packing cube just has all my snacks. I have a ton of snacks in here. Two pouches, a little Cheeto things for my son, yogurt drops, fruit strips, fruit snacks, a bib for my son in this little pocket back here. Um, we can fit a lot in these travel on packing cubes and they're really great ones that duck because they have a nice small profile even though I have that really well stuffed and then just my mini med kit for small um, scrapes or cuts so band-aids antiseptic that sort of thing. So my mini B is now empty. I'm going to put all this stuff in my skip hop. So I'm my quick and my large set. Travel on packing cube, med kit, my sippy cup, and then I'm going to kind of fold this up just like I had in the other. Now the, the difference here, you can kind of start to see if you're paying attention at the beginning. The top of the mini bee is much wider. The skip hop uh, doesn't quite come to a point, but it narrows at the top, so it's a lot harder to cram stuff on top than it is in the mini B. Even though I have this extra bottle pocket and the sippy cup isn't on the inside, and I have this bigger pocket here, I almost can't fit this sweatshirt in here. Um, but I can. It just takes some doing. Essentially, they hold the same amount. The mini B uh, holds it a little less stuffed. Um, however, the Skip Hop has the nice outside bottle pocket. It does have a much bigger um, outside pocket to keep like mommy things organized um, if you're going to use it as your little um, diaper bag backpack. Uh, they're about the same width, stuffed and unstuffed. Um, and the features are quite similar. It's more of do you want your kid to carry it or you to carry it if you're using it as a diaper bag because um, this is pretty darn heavy. Um, fully packed, this would be really hard for any kid to carry. However, it is a wonderful backpack for um, going to the sitter or daycare or anything like that. It holds a lot of stuff. You can fit their lunch box in there. Um, I use this for my son to go to the sitter and I keep in the front like a change of clothes, uh, extra diaper, just stuff she might run out of or need more in the front. And then I usually put toys um, and lunch and everything in the middle and it fits everything I need really nice. It's light, it's cute, and since it's a monkey and different from my daughter's Hello Kitty, um, she knows which is which, so that's really nice. Um, I hope this was helpful for you since both of these are similar. I see, especially on the pink lady boards, a lot of people asking uh, the differences in size and how much they can carry, so now you know. Thank you so much for watching!